making, playing and dancing. It's show and tell time at this kindergarten in Phnom Penh. But for so many children in Cambodia, what happens outside of school is much less fun. It's really bad because there's a lot of gangsters, a lot of people that selling drugs and it's really scary. It's particularly risky for young girls. So they've now got their own village complete with 50 homes, a library and not a boy or man in sight. When I live in outside this village, uh, my sister got like harassed by other people. So we move here like it's the safe place for us to live. The Girls to Granny's community is home to girls, women and survivors of the Khmer Rouge, like Granny Rin. We're so grateful and very excited and I feel my miserable life came to an end when I moved here with Scott. These houses cost about three and a half grand to build and they can house about four or five women or girls. And given just how crucial safe and secure housing is to ending the cycle of poverty, that's pretty good value. Nearby, residents have access to schools, free meals and health care, all thanks to a charity founded by former Hollywood executive Scott Neeson. 20 years ago, he gave away his high-flying life after a chance encounter with a Cambodian child at a rubbish dump not far from here. I was a you know, local boy made good and had all the trappings and good salary, but this was really striking. The Girls to Granny's Village is his latest venture and it's already getting results, with the vast majority of girls going all the way to university. When they see their own potential, there's no stopping them. There's hope the village could provide a model for other countries, as the young women who live here inspire the next generation of Cambodian girls. Lauren Day, ABC News, Phnom Penh.